My name is Anna Bostwick, and I worked for IBM and Endicott uh, for about a year, and then I transferred to the Owego facility. Um, but I live in the town where Endicott is. How long have you been there? I have lived there for 34 years. IBM left and from Endicott and destroyed our economy here and turned us into, you know, our, our town into wasteland. Um, they came here either in the 30s or the 40s. I can't remember the exact date. And Tom Swatson started up this business. It was um, basically computers. You know, the earlier computers, the big uh, data storage ones. And um, when I went to work there, I went in 1978, I worked there until, no, it was 1979, my apologies, 1979. And um, I worked there as a temporary employee for one year. And I worked on blocks and springs, which went into um, the big printers. IBM chose to build their main buildings in Endicott in 1906. But at the time, it wasn't really IBM. It was known as the International Time Recording Company, also known as ITR. It was several different merges and leadership changes that became what we know today as IBM. In Endicott, in specific, they had a chemical spill. And the chemical spill, um, there was cancer clusters down, you know, on one side of the spill. There, um, to this day, there's houses that have meters that read, you know, what the air and the water, so that they make sure that you're not drinking poisonous water. When I worked at IBM uh, Endicott, which I only worked there for a year, um, it was very sexist. Um, you know, the work was boring. It was manufacturing work. It was quite boring, you know, but you made it better by trying to beat the, the standards. I, IBM had been um, you know, going downhill in the early 90s, by the early 90s. By 1994, they had their very first layoff, both in Endicott and Owego. And we lost a lot of really good people in Owego. Not only the job loss, but the loss of income and, you know, people shopping in the shops on Washington Avenue. And it, it, economically, it was really, you know, it was a tough time. Still is but it's starting to revitalize again. Right, it's starting to revitalize. Yes, yes. A new um, uh, ion battery place is going in. Um, that's why these the buildings will be torn down on one side. So from McKinley on to North, that one corner, they're gonna be torn down. And then uh, um, there'll be luxury apartments up at the top of the hill uh, for, for the workers that are coming in for the, the battery factory. I wouldn't live there if I didn't want to. It's IBM and Endicott Johnson, when they both came into the, the town around the same time, and it was booming down there, there was all kinds of stuff going on. All the shops were full. Logical yes, yeah. yeah right. And that's what they're hoping to do again with this, you know, with their revitalization. As of 2017, the Bergman Associates were able to complete a plan called the Revitalization Plan. This plan will help bring back the economic success that Endicott once had by fixing local issues, creating new businesses, and most importantly, taking down the older IBM buildings.
Um, there's a lot of things to do, you know, for a small town. I would ask why they had to leave. Why they just couldn't, you know, clean up the chemical spill and help the people that were affected by it and not turn us into this dustbin. Um, they used the land here. They used the people and they left us. And that to me is extremely sad and I wish they hadn't done it.